That's why we're pursuing other grand challenges, like making solar energy as cheap as coal, or making electric vehicles as affordable as the ones that run on gas. They're ambitious goals, but they're achievable. And we're encouraging companies and research universities and other organizations to get involved and help us make progress. I think people have a sense that we are having a huge impact on the environment. There is a, probably a sense that these changes are irreversible, and I think people are afraid. You know, one reaction to that fear is to shut down and not think about it. And another reaction, in some cases, to deny that these changes are happening. <laughs> I think fear creates all kinds of reactions. So this is about addressing that and making people recognize that the future can be bright. I'm a curious engineer, and I think I'm always looking to solve the real hard problems. And what we're doing is taking some uh, appliances like refrigerators, dryers, air conditioners, and we're adding electronics to these existing appliances, and we're putting them in, in UCLA dorms. We have the mindset, we have the people, we have the campus. Let's harness the sun's energy directly into the grid. We'll be burning less fossil fuels. Let's store that energy in electric vehicles at night when we don't need to use that energy. Now you drive your car into work in the daytime and you can power your grid from your car. I already have an EV that you can charge at night and discharge into the grid in the daytime. I think that for someone like me, an engineer, we need to make a difference. I want to make a difference. I chose engineering not because it was easy, but because it was hard. Um, uh, you know, I'm probably not the smartest guy, I'm not the best guy at, at math, and I knew that at a very young age. Uh, but I thought these other things were, were relatively easy. Engineering was the thing that was, was hardest for me to try to, to do well. I thought, well, then that's the thing I should try to do. I have a, a strong engineering sense that um, I can break down complex problems. I can identify where the, where the real hinge points are uh, in a problem where if you can understand it and then you can change it, that now the game really changes. It's really the art of, of turning a problem into a solution. As a kid in rural San Diego County, I could see the chaparral and hear coyotes at night. And it was just beautiful. Then one day I woke up and there was the sound of a bulldozer. And I went out and looked, and there was a bulldozer operator scraping the bottom of the canyon, scraping all of the vegetation. It was an absolutely uh, searing experience to watch them rip this place apart. I went down into that canyon and begged that bulldozer operator to stop. I do what I do because I think that we've reached the end of the viability of that land development model. My entire life has been driven by protection of the environment.
You know, it's not any one thing. It's really a little bit of everything, and that's why it's so important to have a wide array of expertise on the Grand Challenge team really taking on LA sustainability. The other thing that I, I really love about this project, it's not just UCLA. It's only gonna work as a grand challenge if we partner with the city of Los Angeles, if we partner with the business community, if we partner with Los Angeles County. There's almost a sense of, I don't, I don't wanna call it urgency, but there's maybe a sense of need to collaborate now because these challenges that we're taking on are so complex and so big. I am very optimistic that we can make Los Angeles a better place. We could do things so much better and so much more beautifully for us. If you don't believe that you can make the impossible possible, you know, you won't.